Inquisitor. Have you heard anything? Not yet. I'll let you know as soon as I do. Let's see what we have. Herr Oswin, odd that the trail should lead us here. Ban Loren is a pious, unassuming man. What has he become involved in? He might simply be a victim as well. Let's see what lies within. Fiery Promise is a cult with strange beliefs about the Seekers. They've hounded us for centuries. What kind of strange beliefs? They believe they are Seekers, the only rightful ones. They say we robbed their powers long ago, preventing them from ending the world. Ending the world? The only way to truly eradicate evil in their eyes, the world will be reborn a paradise. It's all nonsense. Why haven't the Seekers dealt with them? We have, many times. They simply reappear after a time like weeds. Nobody knows how. Is it possible to negotiate with them? They're fanatics, drunk on whatever forbidden magic they can find to make themselves true Seekers. This explains why the Seekers might be here, but not the connection to Corypheus.
As the Seekers of Truth have proven resistant to the effects of Red Lyrium, the Elder One has seen fit to place them in your care. We claim your destiny, and know that the Elder One expects your devotion as repayment. Signed by Magister Calpurnia, leader of the Venatori. Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? So Corypheus sold the Seekers to these cultists? And they leapt at the chance, of course. But this doesn't explain how he captured the Seekers in the first place, or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. The letter said Seekers were resistant to Red Lyrium. Our abilities grant us many gifts, but the resistance to Red Lyrium's corruption? That seems strange. Although it would explain why none have numbered among the Red Templars. And thus, Seekers would be useless to Corypheus. He would have no leash to hold us. You sound worried. I am. The Seekers are my family.
Daniel! Daniel! Can you hear me? Cassandra... It... is you. You're alive. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No! They... put a, a demon inside me. It's... tearing me up. What? You can't be possessed. That's impossible! I'm not... possessed. They... fed me things. I can feel it growing. Can we do anything? I don't know. This thing inside him. The Lord Seeker. You have to find him. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here, one by one. An important mission, he said. Lies. He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. Could it have been the demon from Therinfal? No. The demon came later. But a demon couldn't simply take his place without anyone noticing. The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let the demon take command while he... Came here. Cassandra. Now is not the time for sympathy. Wait. Don't leave me like this, please. You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome. He was my apprentice. I have never known a finer young man. Now we find Lord Seeker Lucius. Lord Seeker Lucius. Cassandra, with a man I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. 
You must be very proud of your handiwork. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Oh yes. We fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago, as you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world, to make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry, the Circles of Magi, a war that will see no end. We are not the original Inquisition. Of course you say that now. So you did all this because you hate our order? We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. And this was the right thing. Lord Seeker, what you've done... I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end so we can start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the Maker's will. Had to be. Perhaps the Envy Demon's influence? Remove the Lord Seeker so it could take over the Templars. All these wasted lives. He could not have destroyed all of us. I won't accept it. Let us return to Skyhold. I wish to see what's in this Book of Secrets. Just as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. I needed her wisdom after the hero of Ferelden died. It's peaceful here. You must have good memories of this place. It was a place of comfort. It is good to see it still untouched by Corypheus. Liliana, is that you? Sister Natalie, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No, I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... like she's still with us. 
Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lord, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. I wish more people would fail to recognize me. Oh, uh... I see. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic. Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch. That light has no fear of darkness. Above all, that strength lives in an open heart. She must be hinting at something in here. Let's look around. Do they still sing verses from the Benedictions every Friday? That canticle was Justinia's favorite. Uh, yes, of course. We'd never give up the traditions of our most beloved divine. That is lovely to hear. I stare up at the bridge sometimes. It's terrifying, but beautiful in its way. It is beautiful. Have you seen it by sunrise? When the sun rises through it, it splits into what looks like a thousand suns, like a broken mirror. Yes, spectacular, isn't it? You must be careful, Natalie. Justinia's enemies are making their move, vying for position and the sunburst throne. Sorry to keep you waiting. Good old Leliana was playing you the whole time. Didn't you realize? They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickleweed burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thidas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? He must be joking. 
Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. We don't have to be at odds, Natalie. You could come with us. Join the Inquisition. I was called to serve the Grand Cleric. I will not betray her. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. We don't have to kill her. No. I must protect the Inquisition. She is an enemy. I see what you've become. The Merchants stand before the darkness, and the Maker shall guide them. <laughs> Check again. Perhaps the box itself is a puzzle. She seemed the puzzling sort. No, it's just... it's just an empty box. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. She apologized in the Fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Then you have to let it go. Let her go. You don't owe her anything anymore. This? Now? After everything you've said and done? And my poor dear Natalie. I called her sister once, but I couldn't risk leaving her alive. Don't tell me to let it all go after all I've sacrificed to get here. Justinia tried to save me, but all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold.
They'll appoint a new divine soon. One will make you stand up for us instead of protecting your own. If you empty out the coffers of the nobility, what do you think will happen when the fighting's done? Cyril Mornay, for your crimes against the Empire of Orlais. For the murders of General Vincent Callier, Lady Lorette Callier, their four children, and their retainers, you are sentenced to be hanged from the neck until dead. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Very well. Well, this is grim. Proceed. Stop! A Grey Warden. This man is innocent of the crimes laid before him. Orders were given and he followed them like any good soldier. He should not die for that mistake. Then find me the man who gave the order. Oh, shit. Blackwall! No, I am not Blackwall. I never was Blackwall. Warden Blackwall is dead. And has been for years. I assumed his name to hide like a coward from who I really am. You, after all this time. It's over. I'm done hiding. I gave the order. The crime is mine. I am Tom Rainier. Can you believe it? Tom Rainier himself. You must know something about Rainier. I know what everyone knows. He'll hang for the massacre of a noble and his family. Where did they take the prisoner? In the jail of the marketplace. 
If you've goodbyes to say, say them now. It's a damned mess, but believe you me, it'll be sorted out quick. Lots of people can't wait to see that man swing. Guess not. Inquisitor, grand to see you. I've heard amazing things from no less than the Winter Palace. Now open in Val Royale, the wares of my kin imported from as far as the Hunter Horns. We haven't sold here in a long time, but with the Inquisition, there's money to be made. Well, I have met a master of the game and lived to tell. A most humble welcome, Inquisitor. It is a wonder to see how high your reach extends, Inquisitor. I hope to help in some small way. Happened here. And where is the merchant we intended to meet? It seems Vicinius angered Calpurnia by sending her mistreated slaves. Was that mercy or anger at damaged stock? She was paying a fortune for literate slaves. A horde of these venatories not enough? Something's up. That sounds like recruiting to me. What the
That must have been Vicinius. Uh, I see Calpurnius and Venatori to deal with him. Let's look around. Shattered crystal. Let's find the pieces. Here's another one. The crystal's whole again, but... Hold on. Lady Calpurnia, I had no intention. I warned you of consequences, should the slaves you bring me suffer in your care. Venatori, show him my displeasure. No! Why? Why? That's a dwarven memory crystal. The Shapred used them to store memories. Don't ask me how. Dagna might know what to make of it. <laughs> 